here we've got my 1998 P38 4.6 runs on gas quick wander around it's a massive shame we're gonna have to sell this one but I've just run out of time and money to get her running right she's got a bit of a bit of an uneven eye, uh, idle she misfires a little bit under under heavy load um, I'm suspecting it's cam I've had the heads off um, thinking it was a slip liner um, but thankfully I've had the heads off recent new head gaskets and everything else luckily it wasn't a slip liner which is brilliant but um, does mean that I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'm now suspecting it's camshaft. What I should have done is when I had the engine apart is I should have uh, should have changed the camshaft while I was in there. But it's got new rockers, new push rods, new rocker shafts, new rocker pedestals, hydraulic tappets, obviously new head gaskets, new intake manifold gaskets, um, etc. All, all, the, all the gaskets and everything to when, when you take the heads off. She runs on LPG. She's currently running on LPG at the moment, which does work, which makes it super economical. Reasonably clean on the inside. She hasn't, I haven't used her for about three and a bit months while well, obviously we've been trying to do the work. But she runs all right. There you go, oh, a bit of sun glare there. 118 and a half thousand miles, etc. Sorry, there's quite a lot of glare from the sun there. I usually use a video camera, but I'm doing it on my phone, so I left my video camera at home. Uh, it's a new driver's side window regulator, because when it goes up it clicks, so there's a new regulator there. Um, I do have a replacement camshaft, and I've got all the relevant gaskets etc to do a camshaft replacement um, it's just I've run out of time and money to be able to do it um, and she just needs to go unfortunately which is a huge shame a boot liner obviously under, under there in the spare wheel well there's the gas tank there CD changers just tucked down the side there. It's had a new centre exhaust box. She's got four new tyres all round that have done probably less than 2,000 miles. So I'm just putting my hand over to try and sort of stop the glare from the sun. This is what's called Charleston Green, which is quite a light mint green. I personally, I love the colour. I think it's a great colour. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. So I haven't driven her for about three months or so. She was laid up in June. What's that? Oh, that's the... Yeah, that's the... That's the four tyres in April. Uh, when I did all the ball joints and suspension bushes uh, and all the ball joints etc she was given a, a, a front alignment when I did all the all the suspension bushes back in oh, December last year I did those blind I didn't, didn't realize it was that long time ago As I say, tyres have done less than 2,000 miles, so they're all in brand new. So even for that, there's 300 quid's worth of tyre just there. Um, I'm 
is the beating heart of the mighty Range Rover, as said Jeremy Clarkson. Runs on a, an OMVL Dream 21N system with the rig fast injectors there. Vaporizer down, down there. As I say, I've done the whole top end. We've been done head gaskets, rockers, uh, rockers, shafts, push rods, hydraulic tappets, etc. The only thing I didn't change, which I should have when I had the heads off, was the camshaft. Which I think is what the problem is. I think it's a flat lobe on the cam. It looked alright, but you can't really look that closely with the, with the cam buried in the valley. Um, as I say, I do have the 4.6 camshaft. I just don't have the time now um, to, to, to be able to fit it. And we've, we've, we've got to draw a line under this now, unfortunately. Which is a massive, massive shame. But she runs, I mean, she drives, etc. So we'll go for a, we'll go for a, a quick burn. She's not taxed. MOT'd or insured so I'm just on the private roads here at work just to show you that she does she does indeed does indeed drive um, but she just doesn't like being under load I don't know if you can see we're doing so I'm just under 30 and she, she, she drives well as long as you don't try and push her she, she does really, really well. Um, beautifully quiet in here. Air conditioning does work. It needs to be regassed because I had to take the uh, the air conditioning pipes off when I did uh, the, the work on the heads. Um, but you know, just give give it a regas. She'll take a charge, and she, and it does work. The, the the air conditioning does work. I believe there is a blend motor issue on the passenger side, <coughs> uh, hence why there's the notebook on the HEVAC control. As I say, I mean, look, you know, she she drives. She she she'll she'll get get onto a trailer, um, or, or get you down the road, etc. As long as you don't try and push her too hard, which we'll show. I hopefully I'll try and try and show you very shortly. Um, sorry, that's the we've got these stupid little ridges in the road, sort of like you know, or control your speed things at work. You know, they really are quite quite annoying. As you can see, just trying to pull away there, she sort of pops and farts a little bit. Um, and doesn't really like, uh, like pulling away. But she does run, she doesn't overheat. You can have her sitting there idling all day and, she, and the temperature gauge won't go above halfway. What we'll try and do is uh, sort of find a quiet bit down here, do a standing sort of acceleration that you can see. Uh, cruise control system does work, it just needs new vacuum hoses, they're all perished. It was one of the things on the list to do, but as I say, we, we, we have just run out of, uh, run out of um, time and, and, and everything else with the young kid and the, and the change of my job and everything else. So Anyway, right, so here we are, we're standing still. We're not in sport mode or anything, so let's uh, dump the foot. As you can see, she, she struggles a little bit. So she will, and then she sort of kind of gives up and starts backfiring a little. She doesn't like being under load or, or you know, fast acceleration. But, you know, she does drive, she does run, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's an odd one. Let's find a quiet, quiet bit and we can sort of put it in uh, neutral. There we go. Look. So she doesn't like accelerating, but if you just gently just, just, she will actually go up to motorway speeds. It's just you can't accelerate hard up to after up to motorway speeds. I can't do motorway speeds here because <laughs> it's uh, it's. Uh, we, we, we've only got sort of well, we're supposed to have a 20 mile an hour sight speed limit, and that, that was up to 35 there. Um, and there are CCTV cameras, so I'm trying to be careful. 
Um, but she does, she does run, and she's she's actually very good. Oh, so that that was my mistake. That's because she's in drive. You silly little man. <laughs> well, there it goes. That goes to show you that the start inhibitor <laughs> works. <laughs> oh, what a plank. Anyway, that, that, yeah, that, 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 that was my mistake. <laughs> right, so. Oh, what an idiot. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually I'll face the other way because we've got the sun in our eyes here. And then you can see. Um, starting automatics while they're still in drive is, 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 is not easy. Right, so here we are. Right, so let's try and accelerate. See, she gets up to about there. And she just, that, that, that's it, that's foot to the floor. She gets up to 4,000 RPM and she just doesn't want to go any further. There's the old pop and back fart and everything else. So, you know, she's not... Not 100% happy um, with that. But, uh, I mean, you know, the radio works. Uh, and all the windows work. So I'm just, there's a fly in there. So the sunroof opens and closes. This is a little little lacklustre here. You can see this is sort of falling down, and the, the headlining at the back is a little loose. But yeah, she just won't. She just does not like um, being put under load, heavy acceleration. Other than that, I mean, you know, as I say, if you, if you drive gently, you can you can you can get her up to speed. But she just will not load up. So. That just doesn't like being under load. But, you know, sort of do it nice and gently and she'll, she'll get there. She's a great car. Um, and it will be a massive shame to have to sell her. So there we go. As I say, just a short, short little vid, just to show that she does actually drive. She is fine. It's just that she's got this "I don't want to accelerate" issue, which I think is due to um, a flat, flat cam lobe. Sorry, I had to pause the recording there because I'd reached the uh, the file size limit apparently. So, um, but yeah, so there we go. She does run. She does drive. She does run. She does drive. She is. Yeah, it's just it's just a massive shame that she has to go. Air suspension all works. And um, she goes up and down nicely. She doesn't lose uh, a height unless she's obviously on a, on on a slope. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, now I would say air suspension works all, all fine. She's all calibrated, um, etc. It's just yeah, massive, massive shame that we uh, we have to say goodbye. <laughs>